Hi Grade 7! For today, our topic is illustrating polygons, its convexity, angles, and sides. And it was based on Mathematics 7, Quarter 3, Module Number 5. Hi Math Lovers! Are you ready? Let's learn! Have fun! Because Mathematics is fun! What I need to know. For our objectives, number one, define a polygon. Number two, illustrate the different parts of polygons. And number three, state the different classification of polygon. What is it? Illustrating polygons. We will define and illustrate its convexity, angles, and sides. Polygon. Polygon is a union of non-collinear segments, the sides, on a plane that meet at their endpoints, the vertices, so that each endpoint, which is the vertex, is contained by exactly two segments, which are the sides. The word polygon comes from the Greek words poly, which means many, and gon, which means angles. Here are some examples of polygons. Polygons. Now, can you determine if each figure below is a polygon or not? Figure A. That is polygon. Figure B. That is also polygon. Figure C. That is not a polygon. And figure D. That is not a polygon. Figure A and B are both polygons, while figure C and B are not, since they have two overlap sides and curve sides, respectively. A polygon separates a plane into three sets of points. First, the polygon itself. Second, point in the interior or the inside of the polygon. And third, points in the exterior or outside of the polygon. Polygons are named by writing their consecutive vertices in order. Now look at this illustration. Now let's identify the different names of the polygon. Pentagon A, B, C, D, E Or Pentagon B, C, D, E, A Or Pentagon C, D, E, A, B or Pentagon DEABC or it can be Pentagon EABCD Convexity of Polygons Consider the following sets of polygonal regions. Can you state the difference between the regions in set A and in set B? Now look at these two given illustrations. Polygonal regions in set A are called convex, while polygonal regions in set A are concave. A polygonal region is convex if segment PQ joining any two points P and Q of the region is a part of the region. If the region is not convex, then it is concave. A polygon that determines a convex region is called convex polygon. A polygon that determines a concave region is called a concave polygon. Can you determine which polygons are convex or concave? Figure A That is convex 
Now finger B. That is concave. Figure C. That is concave. And figure D. That is convex. Polygons A and B are convex, while polygons B and C are concave. Angles and sides of a polygon. There are two types of angles associated with convex polygon. The interior angles and the exterior angles. Interior angles of a convex polygon are those angles at each vertex that are on the inside of a polygon. While an exterior angles of a convex polygon is an angle that is both supplementary and adjacent to one of its interior angles. Look at this given illustration. That is a convex polygon LOV. The interior angles of this polygon is angle L, angle O, angle V, and angle VEO. And the interior angle is angle OES. Two sides of a polygon that have a common endpoint or vertex are called consecutive sides. Now look at this illustration. In polygon MATH, line segment MA, and line segment AT are consecutive sides. Two angles whose vertices are endpoints of the same sides are called consecutive angles. Look at the illustration. In polygon MATH, angle AMH and angle A are consecutive angles in the polygon. The common side of two consecutive angles is called the included side of the two angles. Now look at this illustration. In polygon MATH, line segment MT is the included side of angle AMH and angle MAT. The angle containing the common vertex of two consecutive sides is called the included angle of two sides. Now look at the illustration. In polygon MATH, angle H is the included angle of line segment HT and line segment HM. A segment joining non-consecutive vertices is called a diagonal of the polygon. Now look at the illustration. In polygon MATH, line segment MT is one of the diagonals in the polygon MATH. Now here are some examples. Refer to the diagram. Let's identify the consecutive sides, consecutive angles, included side of angle I and angle A, included angles of line segment FH and HT, and a diagonal. The consecutive sides are line segment AF and line segment AI, line segment AI and line segment IT, line segment HT and line segment FH. Lastly, line segment AF and line segment FH. The consecutive angles are angle I and angle A, angle I and angle ITH, angle H and angle AFH, and lastly, angle A and angle AFH. Included side of angle I and angle A, that is line segment AI. Included angle of line segment FH and line segment HT. That is angle H. And our diagonal is line segment FT. Types of polygon. 
the different types of polygons in terms of congruency of parts are equilateral, equiangular, and regular polygon. A polygon is equilateral if its sides are all equal. Now look at our example. We have equal sides and that is 3 meters. A polygon is equiangular if angles are equal. Now look at our figure. We have equal angles that is 90 degrees. A polygon is irregular if it is both equilateral and equiangular. Now look at our figure. We have the same side and we have equal angles. Classification of Polygon Polygons are classified according to the number of sides. Triangle it has three sides. Quadrilateral. It has four sides. Pentagon. It has five sides. Hexagon. It has six sides. Heptagon. It has seven sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven sides. Heptagon. Octagon. It has eight sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight sides. Octagon. Nonagon, it has nine sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine sides. Nonagon. Decagon, it has ten sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten sides. Decagon And Decagon, it has 11 sides 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 11 sides and Decagon Dodecagon, it has 12 sides 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 sides, dodecagon. References I hope that you have learned a lot. Thanks for watching. Bye!